We're going to talk a little bit about getting IJ access, uh, access into the internal jugular vein. And we're going to go step by step and go into a little bit more detail here to help kind of make it clear what are the salient points about um, gaining access. And it all starts with scanning. So you're going to use the ultrasound to actually evaluate <coughs> kind of your target area. So we're going to use a linear probe. Uh, for IJ access, that's uh, traditionally what is used, and we're ideally the higher frequency, the better resolution. Um, but you'll have to see what's available to you. So you're going to use the linear probe with a little bit of ultrasound gel, and then you know you're going to scan on the neck of the patient. And ideally, what you're going to see is kind of two vessels next to each other. The smaller, more medial vessel is usually the carotid. That's going to be pulsatile. Um, it's going to not be compressible and then medial to it uh, or, or sorry lateral to it is going to be the internal jugular vein it's going to be generally larger it should be thinner walled it should be compressible because it is a vein and um, when you're kind of scanning it you're kind of looking for a good target so you can kind of scan along the length of the ij and just make sure that there's no thrombus in there um, that it's patent Make sure it's not pulsatile, make sure it's compressible. Um, and once you're convinced that the vessel is a good target, what you're going to want to do is scan lower on the neck right before it bifurcates into the subclavian. It's going to be closer to the clavicle. And this is where you want to make your puncture. Um, it's very important that you uh, make your puncture lower on the neck uh, because it's more comfortable for patients. Let's say you're putting in a tunnel line or something like that. And overall, it's just kind of the preferable target. Okay, so um, just to kind of quickly summarize, it's going to be larger vessel. It's going to be compressible. That's probably the most important feature. Uh, there should not be any thrombus. It should not be pulsatile. Um, you can put color flow on if you need to to kind of confirm that. And um, you just have to make sure you find it, and then you have a good target for it.